if you have the opportunity to go to Santorini, you have to do a Caldera Sunset dinner cruise. This is the best way to do this event because one, it's just you and your family, maybe a couple other guests, or it could be you on a party boat, you know, with a lot of guests. It depends on, you know, your finances and what you're willing to spend. But this trip was unbelievable. This was, you know, just at the end of the COVID, you know, uh, although COVID still exists, uh, we just didn't want to be around a bunch of people and we chartered a boat and this was unbelievable. Uh, the caldera was created. It's basically a volcano that filled in with seawater. Um, that whole Santorini Island is a volcanic island. As you can see, we're showing a lot of volcanic rock. It is really beautiful. Uh, there's a couple big marinas here. So you have a couple opportunities. And here's my wife enjoying a nice glass of wine on the top deck. And here you can see uh, just houses and hotels and you know on top of the caldera um, like I said this was really a trip of a lifetime you need to put this on your bucket list if you have any plans to go to Santorini do it you will not regret it I promise you People coming back from this morning, huh? beach is dangerous because the cliffs are falling down on the beach and people are still sunbathing on the beach so our boat captain was telling me that you know a lot of these formations since it was caused by volcanoes had a system of caves in it and you could see people taking kayaks into these caves and also people swimming into these caves 
uh, the captain was saying that some of the caves actually are large. They get larger when you get inside, and there's actually beaches on the inside. I thought that was pretty interesting. I would love to pursue that a little further, but I didn't have an opportunity during this trip. Being on the boat, we had a lot of wind noise, so I had to do a lot of voiceover stuff, but this is my buddy Mustafa. What a great name. He's from Senegal. He loves being in Santorini. He and another deckhand, Martha, uh, they live on the boat, you know, during the season. So they, they live on the boat and they work on the boat. They're a great group. He kept me supplied with uh, beer and drinks and uh, we took care of him with the tip as well. What a great guy. Hey, Moray, you gonna put us close to the cage, take a picture. Race. Want to get a good suntan? You guys gonna put a sunblock on? Sure. Oh, it's an anchor wind. Yep. Uh, it's supposed to be act natural. Oh, sorry. We do not. We do not do you. We do not do fake content. <laughs> All real life, no real content. <laughs> no fake content. Right it's up to Dakota. Captain! <laughs> Mustafa! I see him, I see you. <laughs> oh, we just saying hi. We just saying hi. Hello. 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 Is the speaker inside for music? to say one thing about Morier he loves to have fun and I really appreciate that about him you know he brings a great sense of humor and he's such a friendly guy I don't think there's a person that we interacted with that Morier didn't basically get their phone number where they live their Instagram account and the rest of it and you see he's dancing to a little JB right here go Morier go Morier go Okay, the moment is about to arrive, the moment that we've all been waiting for. The sunset on the caldera is about to occur. Boats are jockeying for position. Everyone wants the perfect view. That's when we get our better about that. But the caldera sunset was gorgeous. My wife reminded me that our sunset on Camino Island is also gorgeous. And I have to agree to her. 
but it was so fun to go to Santorini. And this is Morier. Oh, Instagram photos. Here we go. I still haven't gotten that yet, but I guess I'll have to get into that myself. This boat cruise was worth every penny. The sunset views on the caldera were fantastic. There was only a few people on the boat, uh, my, our family and two uh, guests from Spain. Uh, if you, like I said, go to Santorini, I would encourage you to do this. The cruise consisted of dinner and also, look at those beautiful views. You're not seeing much of Leva in any of these shots because she was really hot and she was trying to avoid any direct contact with the sun. I understand where she's coming from. She didn't swim or jump in the water, so it was really hard for her to cool down. So staying out of the sun was her way of cooling down. This, this is Living, living life. life. Remember, Remember to, to keep, keep living and enjoying life. Subscribe and follow. Yeah. Hit that like button.